I'm not a huge fan of abstract photography. I don't really like taking photos of something that the viewer has to understand or interpret or make meaning out of, something that's not really clear when you first look at it. But that's kind of what ended up happening here, although not really by design. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of looking at those types of photos that require a lot of mental investment and creativity from me. I, I don't know. Maybe I just like simple things like, I, you know, if you look at my feed uh, on the blog, you'll see like flowers and just simple things. So um, that's... Uh, that's not really what I was going for here. I wasn't going for like super deep and abstract. I Here's what this is. This is some sort of consolation prize that my kid brought home from school, my third grader. They did some sort of game or contest or something and the winner got a prize and, and if you didn't win, you got these little trinkets. And this is... I don't know, it's maybe like one inch wide and you you like slip it on your fingers, I guess. I, I don't even know. It's just one of those things that you come home with in elementary school. You remember elementary school? You just come home with weird stuff sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Does anyone? Who knows? Anyway, that's what this is. It's this weird like... I think it's made of plastic, but I'm not sure. And it slips on your finger and you can kind of expand it and contract it, like kind of play with it, I guess. But I thought it would make for a cool close-up photo. So that was my goal here, was to take a picture of it close up. And in retrospect, I mean, I could have done a lot more with this. I could have cleaned it up more. If you look closely on the left and right sides, you'll see some little spots, some imperfections or, and dust and things like that from the lens. I could have done more to this, but I, I don't know. I just didn't care all that much. I wanted to try something and then see what would happen, and then this is what it is. So to get this shot, I put this thing on my iPad, and... You might be thinking like, well, what, why iPad? Like, why why not just put it on the table? Well, I wanted some sort of clear reflective surface, and that's what the iPad ended up giving me. And I wanted the background to be, just be uniform and kind of blank and also reflect up. And incidentally, if you have a macro lens and you want to take a cool shot of your wedding ring, put it on an, iP on an iPad or, or maybe an iPhone too if your phone's big enough to, so that you don't see anything be uh, besides your phone. But that's what this is here. It's my iPad with this little plastic toy on it with my D750 and my 105 millimeter macro lens. I had to really control the exposure on this. I put the, the camera lens on a tripod, shot at F16 and shot very close. I don't really think I cropped this at all. I could go back and check, but if it was cropped, it was very minimal. So the object you're looking at here is like one inch wide maybe. And so it was really close. And I had to shoot at F16 in order to get... Uh, uh, control over depth of field. If I was any wider, like f11 or, or f4, it would have been just a blurry mess, except for a very thin line in the middle. And even at f16, we still have foreground and background blur. And again, this thing is really, really small. So f16, I needed that aperture. I wanted a nice clean shot, so I, I shot at ISO 100, and that meant a four-second exposure. And this was like 11 in the morning. Like this is not a dark time of day. And here it is. I, I did just a little bit of adjustment in Lightroom. I think I changed the white balance just a little bit to make it a little more golden, but not much. What you see here is pretty much what I shot. What is it? I don't know. What does it mean? Nothing at all. It's just kind of an, a fun little experiment, which is part of the point of Weekly 50, just to try things and see what happens.